Hello my students, welcome to Madrasa Net again. Today we will practice together uh, and do some exercise on our previous lesson which was about relative clauses. So let's see together. Relative clauses exercise. We have exercise number one. We read the question. So follow me my students. The question is use the correct relative pronoun to the following sentences. Here we have to follow our form, our rule that we have explained before about relative clauses. The first sentence, we read it together. She worked for a man. You see here the first sentence. She worked for a man. The man used to be an artist. Huh? What do we notice here, my student? We have the repeating word. What is it, the repeating word? Yes, very good. It is a man, the man. So we have to delete one word.
We read the question together. Choose the correct relative pronoun. Who or whose? We have to choose between two. Who or whose? Who for person, whose for possessive. We have explained this before. Let's see together the first sentence, my students. Follow me. I talked. I talked to the girl. Car broken down next to the shop. What can we say here? Can we say here, I talked to the girl who car broken down next to the door? Or, I talked to the girl whose car broken down next to the shop. So, which one, my students? Very good. It is B. I talked to the girl whose car broken down next to the shop. Okay? Sentence number two. This is the girl. Comes from Spain. This is the girl. Comes from Spain. Here we give information about the girl. Comes from Spain. The girl. Which one? Is it whose or is it who? Yes, giving information about the girl. Very good, my student. It is B. We say this is the girl who comes from Spain. We are talking about the girl, not possessive uh, for the girl. The next sentence. The boy. Father is a doctor. Forgot his bag. The boy. Father is a doctor. Forgot his bag. We are talking about possessive. Here we have possessive. It means the boy's father. So which one? Yes, my student, very good. We say whose. We don't say the boy who father, no. We say the boy whose father is a doctor forgot his bag. Very good. Let's see together the last sentence. That's Peter. The boy has just arrived at the airport. We sentence here. We are giving information about the boy. We are talking about the boy, not for possessive form. Huh? Which one? Whose or who? Yes, very good. It is who. We say, that's Peter, the boy who has just arrived at the airport. So with this brief exercise, thank you very much, my students. Hope you have enjoyed with my exercise. See you next time with the new lesson. Don't forget to subscribe. Visit our Facebook page. Goodbye and see you next time.